Watkins, senior diesel tech, master tech here for diesel engine uh, lab at Daytech. And today we're going to be going over checking cam lift load for fuel injection systems on the Mac E7 AI 400 engine. Some of the tools that we'll be using today will be the, the DeWalt 3H drive, ratchet, an 8 millimeter uh, Allen 19 millimeter wrench, a turning tool with a uh, little helper bar there. We have a crow foot with our torque wrench. We have a extended socket and extension. They have the uh, dial indicator and a pry bar. And most importantly, we have our safety aspect of safety glasses. Safety is no accident. You should always remove your watches and rings when you're working on equipment in a shop. The uh, injector line, this is the main feed line. What happens in this system is that this unit pump will pump fuel from the camshaft. It has a, a lobe inside the camshaft. Now, most times you cannot uh, do a check like this with the engine in the vehicle. So, <clears throat> because it's, you have, would have to pull the camshaft completely out. Then what this tells us is whether or not the cam lobe is worn off or maybe has debris uh, gathered up on top of it from, from cause of poor PM or whatever the case may be. So we've already, I've already loosened these, so we'll take the, the fuel line out. <clears throat> now what happens, the pump operates off the camshaft, the pump pumps fuel into the fuel line, the fuel line pumps into the fuel pencil, the fuel pencil goes into the injector inside the cylinder head. So all right, we'll go ahead and take this off. Now this is the fuel line. This is a high pressure fuel line. Now you'll notice that all the fuel lines in this engine are of the same length. They are of the same internal diameter and they fit in chamfers inside the pump and also inside the engine. On the upper end, this is the fuel, what they call the fuel pencil. All right? It fits right into the injector, holds the injector in place, so you really can't go wrong with that. Make sure that when you take these out and you do, you're going to do all the measurements to take them out and keep them in order. At this time, we would come through and break these Allen head bolts loose. So we take these loose. Now, if the, if the pump really doesn't want to come out at this time, because they're usually pretty stiff, we need to use our little pry bar. One thing when you pry these out, you need to be a little bit careful because the solenoid on here is manufactured as plastic. So we have to get in underneath of it. And we pop out the pump. Now this is called an EUI, and it normally has a spring on the lower end of it. All right. <clears throat> it has an electronic uh, monitoring system that is controlled by the ECM. This tells exactly how much fuel will go into the system and then by use of the camshaft pushing against the plunger will regulate how much fuel gets injected into the fuel pencil. All right. This time I'm now using an Allen wrench. I'm going to reach in and take out the tap roller tap it. Now this is the roller tappet. You notice that it is slotted and it has a pin on the inside. I don't, probably won't be able to see down in there, but now you can be able to look down in there and you'll see the pin that sticks out. All right, that pin is the guide for in, for in this slot. So now this roller, this rolls against the camshaft, okay? You need to inspect it to make sure there's no bluing, scarring, pitting of any kind anywhere in the roller. Make sure it has a nice smooth operation, okay? So we'll set that aside. Now you can look down in the hole, you can see the cam lobe. This is what we're gonna be measuring how far it moves up and down to actuate the fuel pump. 
but this time we'll put take now you're going to make sure that the slot is pointed towards you when you put this back in and if you listen real you'll hear it you'll hear it bottom out on the camshaft if it doesn't bottom out use your allen wrench take it out and reset it again all right so at, at this time now when here i use a one and an eighth deep well socket and a five inch extension now what i do this for is so that because it will reach all the way down inside and set inside to tap it now i'll put my dial indicator on and i'll set it up and then when we get it set up we'll come through and do a, a measurement dial indicator set up and you may have to make some uh, adaptations i guess you would call it and make some arrangements to where you can get a full rotation and then set the dial gauge to zero now you have a dial lock that's on here so that you don't get your, your dial gauge doesn't move too much just kind of snug it up a little bit you don't have to really superman wrench down on these things so now the gauge is set up now what's going to happen i'll rotate the engine <coughs> and you'll see the dial going around and around use a uh, regular ratchet to a half inch drive ratchet 36 millimeter socket and our little cheater bar and the one, one thing that's important to remember that we always rotate the engine as we face it in a clockwise direction and if you notice that our gauge is still on zero so as we move the engine may take take a little bit key come around to the cam lobe you hear the compression leaking off. It gets a little tough when you get to them compression points. Okay, that started again. Oh, okay. And we hit the high side of the lobe. So we got a two complete revolutions, and we count the numbers from zero to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the reading would be 0.214. All right. The one thing, last thing that you want to do once you've replaced the pump and put it back in, and you've torqued the Allen heads down to 20 foot pounds, you're going to come back and do the lines with this crow foot and your torque wrench. My torque wrench is preset to 35 foot pounds. So we will torque on that until it sets. Then we'll also do this one up here. These are, it's a special crow foot made just for this. thing of it is, is try not to over torque them okay there we go so those are those are pre-torqued and that completes everything with our fuel injector check okay. take much for these to rotate around but you got to remember you're on a four-stroke engine on a four-stroke engine you only get one injection per complete cycle right <coughs> so once you complete the cycle you get the injection get your reading and then you check it against the manufacturer specs. This one happened to be 0.214 which is within four thousandths of the manufacturer specs. The, the, that would tell us that our cam lobe is under normal wear and it does not have any buildup on, on top of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions leave a comment below. Thank you.